Hey everybody, good morning. I'm just doing the usual checking of making sure that phones uh, are off. And I just saw that my alarm is about to go off to remind me to do uh, a YouTube live, but there's no need for that. So, uh, thanks for watching. This is the very, <laughs> this is the bit I've been waiting for. I've got my t-shirt, my Brave the Shave t-shirt. I didn't brave the iron this morning, uh, by the looks of that. And I have Mr. Adorable here who is gonna shave my head. So I haven't put any product in. <laughs> this is so exciting. If you haven't already donated, we have raised over £500 already. I'm so, so grateful for everybody that's made a little donation. I've got my little donation pot here. Look, I'm popping in a little bit more as well. There's a QR code on the screen. If you're able to grab a screen grab, then do that. And uh, of course, there's a link there as well. Head straight to the link and it will take you to my Macmillan uh, Cancer Support page as well. So uh, I've got my bunting in place, got my t-shirt ready. Mr. Adorable's here. I'm genuinely a little bit nervous. Like I'm sort of excited about it, but at the same time, I mean, I have no, literally no idea what I'm gonna look like bold. Uh, but what I look like bold is kind of trivial compared to everybody else. So uh, thanks to those of you who have, should we start? You ready? Uh, yeah, well, I'm not ready, but yeah, <laughs> come on. Um, so for everybody that has uh, sort of pledged and said, you know what, my husband died of cancer or I've had cancer, or it's incredible how many people have, have been in touch and I'm super, super grateful for all of you uh, that have donated and shared stories. So Jackie, uh, Carol, Mark, uh, to the two Adams in my life, to Martins in my life, uh, to Hannah, to all of those people and more. Um, you're incredibly brave uh, and incredibly strong and all the people in your life and surrounding you have been incredibly strong as well. Shall we, shall we try? So this is my homage to everybody who has experienced cancer and who has, um, let's go, I'll <laughs> it's a slightly sinister noise, you know, go, go, you do it, I'll talk, uh, this is my sort of, um, <laughs> oh my god, go on, go on, go on, go on. Uh, this is my thank you to you and to my clients who I'm seeing tomorrow, I'm hosting a conference tomorrow and speaking at a conference, <laughs> I'd just like to apologise in advance that I'm going to turn up looking nothing like you expect me to look at, uh, look like. Oh, babe. <gasps> oh, no, that is... <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Oh, look, it feels like a little mole. Stroke like it. Pin cushion. Stroke it. I don't look like a pincushion. <laughs> If you stop just on the top bit, oh wow, gosh, I am receding now, aren't I? Look at that, look at that. <laughs> oh no. And I also want to say thank you, babe, what have you done there? That is shorter than all the rest of it. <laughs> what is that? I have you not got the it. thing right? It's that one you're supposed to do, not that one. You said that one? No, I didn't. I said that one. Look, you've done it. That's like mega short. That one. That one like that. To, that that towards doing. me. Well, look at that. You idiot. Don't call me an idiot. <laughs> um, so, it's, it is, there's my alarm just to remind me to have my head shaved. So, I think we can safely, <laughs> safely stop that. Oh, no. <laughs> my nose looks very big, doesn't it? I'm not sure I look handsome. So the <laughs> I'm going to zoom in a tiny bit so you can see this. Uh, if you haven't already, I would really... <laughs> look at... Babe, this is really patchy. You are not a good hairdresser. It's your clippers. It's not my clippers. <laughs> look at look at this. There's like a line there that isn't even part of it. Wow, I've just a little just... touch of the Annie Lennox about this, you know. Okay. Gosh, look at the stuff coming off. It's like trimming a dog. Now there is a thing in the Macmillan pack, uh, they give you this little thing about how to donate your hair. I think it's for people with long hair. I'm not entirely sure you could do anything other than stuff a cushion with mine, but mm -hmm. there's a lot of gray in it. Gosh, it is a really, I mean, it is dramatic, isn't it? What's it like doing it up there? <laughs> Imagine if we fell out and that was it. <laughs> I can't let them like, 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 like this. I can't Very believe you've done it. I mean, that seems... Do you think we should go shorter? What do you think? 
I think there's a way of me being able to see comments on here, but I probably should have done that ahead of time. Well, I'm a little bit inexperienced with YouTube Live, but uh, we're going to do it again. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Can you I let me see if you yeah. can see comments on here? Okay, if you're watching live, I want you to put in the comment. Wait, let's just wait. To see. Are you still on the same one? Okay, great. <laughs> um, I'm going to look on my on my phone now. I would love you to uh, to just chat and tell me. You know, do you, do you want me to go shorter? Do you think we should? Um, I've got to try and find it now. How do you find it on here? Oh yeah, you've got to do the back as well, haven't you? Um, here we go, here we go. All right, so let's have a little look. Oh, I have to turn this down, I think. <laughs> I want you to see in the... Action is turned off for content that's made for kids. Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? Sorry, gang, you can't see. Well, gosh, look at that. It is really severe. Um, if you haven't donated and you want to donate more, please do so. The link is on the screen, or you can grab with the QR code there on uh, the right-hand side as well. Um, do you know what? It feels lighter already. It, it, I, can we just stop a second? I'm not sure I, li <laughs> sure I like it. <laughs> it. Oh gosh, it does. I mean, it is really... What do you think? I think you look very handsome. I think you should go shorter. Do you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, is, can we get rid of this bit? <laughs> I look like a monk. <laughs> go to a fancy dress bar. Let's just get to a point where it's less. Um, I've been really touched by, uh, I think it was Mike who got in touch. I had no idea who he was. He just, I think, from the hashtag that I use, found me. And he had um, chemotherapy and lost all of his hair and found it especially traumatic. Um, so I just want to say to those people who had no idea who you are, I don't think you've been following me on social media before, just a, a massive thanks for... <laughs> I can't believe... You're digging in a bit. Have you already made it shorter? Because this looks shorter now. No. I think it's just grey again. <laughs> oh, cute, thanks. Um, so I just want to say thank you to those of you who reached out with your own stories. I was in fact, incredibly humbled and touched by that. I have no, can you imagine how long this is going to take to grow back? It's good, I had my hair cut a little bit shorter before so I could kind of get a bit used to it. But there's nothing that, <laughs> there's nothing that quite sort of uh, prepares you for, for this. And... And in some ways, I wasn't sure how I felt about this because, you know, you often see people legitimately who have had a cancer diagnosis and need to shave their hair, um, or don't need to, but choose to before it all falls out and before the sort of, you know, it becomes a bit stressful and difficult um, to manage. And I think those journeys are really fascinating. And I thought, well, maybe I feel a bit, you know, like a fraud doing this because don't be I don't have the need to shave my hair off. But I think what Macmillan are doing, you know, making this okay and making it normal and, and taking away some of the the taboo is incredible. Let's ever get a close up of where we are right now. So do we think, I mean, I mean, that, it's, it's, it's gone. <laughs> wow, we're gonna tidy all this up in a second, but I want to, you- Definitely you, shorter. Shorter? Yeah. It doesn't look, yeah. Oh God, it is. Have you felt it? <laughs> okay, right. We're gonna zoom out. Let's go shorter. Let's um, let's do the same thing. I would. I said if I raised uh, five hundred pounds or more, I would take it to a zero. So that's a half. Let's flip the switch. Have you done it? Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. Ready? Yeah. Well. Yeah. I'm not ready, but is it noticeably shorter? Not really. Because I'm grey. <laughs> it doesn't look too bad. I, th I think I prefer my hair. Particularly because, I mean, I mean, that is quite some... <laughs> look at that! It's like a landing strip. That's quite some receding hairline, isn't it? I'm not sure I... Uh, I'm not sure I like that, I'm going to be honest. Oh, I think you look really handsome. But if you're sticking around, I'd really like you to because in a second, I, I think we need, sort of need to decide. We need a vote as to whether or not we go uh, Fedora, which I realised for about 10 years I've been saying Fedora, which is something very different down on your head. And I'm not sure he'd be okay with it. I told you about that. <laughs> um, uh, this cap, which I wear all the time, I like this, isn't my gardening cap. Uh, or a baseball cap. I don't know. I mean, baseball sort of feels a bit cool for me. I'm not really very cool. Yeah. Um, or whether this is all right. Um, 
Don't forget to donate using the link uh, and or the QR code. I'm going to see how many people we've still got watching. How many sickos? Oh my gosh, there's still 11 people watching live. There were loads of people who said they couldn't watch live and wanted to, me to record it. Uh, so we're going to put it up afterwards uh, as a recording. Although I've just realised that I'm not entirely sure I did that. But anyway, look at that. You might be seeing an event. Can you imagine if nobody... I'm fairly certain I emailed my client to tell them about this. I'll probably do it afterwards. <laughs> and I think for a couple of days, if you think it's worth it and you want to donate some more, you can share the link. Uh, if you've got friends and family that quite like the idea of sponsoring an idiot. <laughs> Shaving all their hair off. Gosh, it's so bizarre to see. What are you doing jabbing at it like that? <gasps> that is really shorter. Okay, do here. It looks really good, Shorter. Have you ever shaved like this? But what's all this jabbing you're doing? Aren't you meant to do it in like a smooth action? No. <laughs> no. No, says the professional hairdresser. Wow. So I guess I have to start spreading. Sorry. Spr sorry. <laughs> I have to start putting um, sunscreen on my head. I really don't have the hair for this at all, do I? Like you realise just what your hair looks like. I look like a punk rocker. Yeah, that's why I think you should bick it. Go even short. It's been. Uh... <laughs> 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 oh wow. It's not um, the most comfortable of uh, of things to watch happen. I have to say. Uh, so I can only imagine if you have, you know, a diagnosis of cancer and then you have to get rid of another part of you that feels, you know, like it's being compromised. That must be a pretty, pretty challenging space to be in. It has a huge stain um, for people's image, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's a big it's part of our itself. identity. In fact, I walked past, I was in London yesterday working, and I walked past the barbers and hairdressers that said beard is identity on the window. And I thought, that's a real truism. You, you know, you you tattoos or the way that you dress or uh, you know piercings or the, the style that you have your hair or the colour you have, have your hair they all form a part of us don't they part of our identity so actually taking one of those away or drastically changing it does put you in a you know a space where you have to you know recover from that you know it, it, it is a small form of trauma so um, that's and po possibly why it's a nice thing that you're doing it out of choice and not yeah to do it, and yeah. discovering that you've got a head that looks like a runway landing strip is <laughs> equally challenging. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, let's get a little zoom in and see where we are with this. You can come and see, see how close I am. Oh hang on, let me add the slide, the slide. There we go. Look at that gang. That is babe, it's very I mean you're not ever gonna be a hairdresser. Look how it's the shape of your head. It's not the shape of my head. You're very good Maybe at blaming me. You could do a better job at doing that. Well, I wouldn't know now. I've not, How can you go wrong? I've not got the opportunity. Uh, well, well, <laughs> that is a very good question. I'm willing to push you on. But, I mean, here, you're slightly more silver. And here, you've got a darker patch. And here, you've got a darker patch. But here, you're slightly more silver. So. I like the fact that you've used the term silver. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say that. All right, so, <laughs> so we're going to tidy this up, uh, and uh, but there it is. That is my Brave the Shave for Macmillan. I'm super pleased that I did it. Uh, I'm covered in hair. I feel like a, a, a I don't know, a, a dog that's had a grooming incident. Uh, it's extremely itchy. I might need to jump in the shower. But uh, we're going to tidy this up a little bit so it doesn't look so ridiculous. What I would love you to do... I'm going to put a post up now, a before and after, on social media, on Instagram, at that Jez Rose. Um, so I kind of need uh, some... Oh, wow, this feels really weird having this on. Uh, are we going for a hat? Uh, are we going for so a Baker Boy hat? Uh, are we going for a fedora? Or fedora? This doesn't fit anymore. <laughs> uh, fedora. Um, uh, are we going... Are we thinking, this is okay? Do I keep it like this? I'm going to be okay if you, you know, say, oh, I think you should hide it. Or is it a baseball cap? Uh, but whatever, we're going to tidy it up. And this is um, temporarily the new me. If you see me in the street on a dark night, I'm not going to rob you. Um, as long as you donate. <laughs> 
So thanks for joining me live. Super, super fun. I'm really pleased to have shared the experience with you. And um, for all the rest of you that are doing it, uh, it's brilliant. It's, a, it's an incredibly rewarding experience. And uh, it's temporary, isn't it? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, I would say it was liberator. I'm a liberator. That's what I am. I've just, you've just watched basically all the important bits of Miss Saigon. So, uh, do I mean Miss Saigon? Who's the other one? No idea. Oh, no idea. Anyway, have a lovely day. Thanks so much for supporting. And uh, I'll see you again soon, probably here on YouTube. All right. Cheers, gang. Bye bye. Uh, now, I haven't done this before, so this could be one of those clunky bits where I. Oh, finish. That's the one.